Hello everyone and welcome to a new preview gameplay of the new two divisions in Wano. As you can see, I'm playing against the AI this time, so I have more time talking about the units, not having to sweat against Resman or someone like that. And I can chill a bit and we can have a look on what's going on on the battlefield. Hard AI still is somewhat capable, for sure. So it will not be a super easy walk in the park, but we are on the new map, where to go. So I can show you this and all the new units that are coming up, including the really, really strong Vazi leg at the moment, or the TADB, or my Dejan Iglas that come on top of the BTR ZD with the lovely lovely 23 millimeter that is bound to it with ropes and other cool units including also this one obviously the one that a lot of people didn't want it in this game and a lot of people even more people want in this game the akula the black shark is around so yeah, let's see. Let's have a bit of fun. We will start with a couple of Legend of Nikki Medis. Let's go over here. And we have some Medis there. Uh, Conquerors. That goes in here. And it comes in a BTR RD robot that brings a Cocon ATGM. We have a couple of Legend Nikis in BMD 1s and in BMD 2s. So we will use the BMD2 versions here to get close to this position. Couple of Dejons of Paris that actually will try to get in there at first. To try to secure that situation. And then some AA pieces that will go in. Over here, try to help out around there with the A situation. Some infantry units over there, including a Medis. And then one TADB that starts in the normal spawn zone. That will try to come up there. And then we will also get some oh no actually we can get an AA helicopter right no ah okay then we will get some AA glass go in there and you go over there okay let's go Let's go. So, yes, the enemy will come with the 82nd Airborne, all the cool stuff. I decided for the Soviets because I already played the Americans quite a bit, and you can also see the Americans in Resmond's video, in Resmond's latest gameplay video. So, here you have the Soviet view. And there's our Nikki's with Medis rushing forward. We'll play the 82nd, obviously, also for an upcoming video soon as well. But they are most likely then will go into multiplayer. They are just more like the single player POV of this lovely new formation. The what's with the lovely AA piece coming around over here. We'll unload in the forest. There they go. Getting into position. And a lot of helicopters actually coming our way. So we might need to use some more AA than the ones we have already. More airborne AA come in. Form of a MiG-29. Lots of little birds. Ooh. 
Little bird over here gets hit by our flag. And the Eagler helps out. Meanwhile, MiG-21, uh, uh, MiG-29, trying to get the Heavy Hawks, gets one. Hillary Weiss, we will get some Vagy Lex over here. Ooh, Concourse and Robot. Get that M1A1 stopped. Enemy has taken their CVs. There's a Nikki here using the 30mm, uh, the PMD. He needs to run though. Ah, too late. Humbi. In the round, this unit needs to go away. M1A1 coming in. Will get hit by the TADB. He need, he needs to run afterwards. Nikki will try to get close. Okay. ADB actually getting the hit in. Nikki follows up, gets another M1 kill. We will get a Mi-26 in. Just so we have some big supplies. And the Akula. Oh, I forgot the Akula at the start. Absolutely gorgeous helicopter. Um, yeah, here we go. Only recording this on high, as uh, I currently have a bit of performance issues on recording on insane. This looks even better if you have it on highest graphics. It's absolutely amazing. It's, uh, even on high, it probably looks pretty damn good, I would say. Fujin did a really good job. In, with creating good looking graphics. I play without recording, I can play on Insane and it's really nice. Might need a new CPU though. And with the current temperatures, my system is sometimes also a bit. <laughs> What's going on here? He wants us. Did we lose line of sight? Oh, we killed it already. Ah, and another little bird. Okay, there's a Nikki Medis, got the kill. Little bird is still around. Can we get the kill on this? That's getting some units in here as well. Okay, the little bird has been killed. Akula is around. And the Vajulek. -like Lights up the terrain over there. Let's get a recon Mi 24 in. And a bunch of bad guys in the north. Defensive fire around here. As we need to get in here ASAP. Sheridan gets killed. The first of the new small tankies is up in smokes. Ammunition cooking. Infantry made it in. Oh, what are you? Something that shoots at me, that. That's for sure. Ah, some stinger teams. Okay. Is missing. Engineer. Okay, 
knows now. Minimal range is what? Ah, okay. Don't go back. They are too close. That's why it was not working. Okay, this is too far. Interesting. So the terrain they can actually fire in is not like uh, or the, the values they can actually fire into is not such a big territory. But they once they fire they don't leave anything on top of each other. You can actually you can land the hits. These things really do damage. For that we need some of red gas. Give us some spotting. A is needed in the north. Oh no. Ah, the Igla is empty. Another Igla will be needed. Oh no. The heavy hawk. Really doing its damage. Ah, Redley. It's moving forward. Attack oh. move. It's attack move. Oh no. Okay, MiG 29 shut down. But heavy hogs. Once more under fire. Fight is lovely, lovely. Attack and the AI is. Now try to capture that we have to stop. We can't allow this to happen. We cannot take this over. But we are still on the outskirts of this town. Let's get in the first enter tank gun in. What's this super big, huge chunk of a unit is sitting in here. Two cool looking pilots and sitting in there. Me 24 could retreat to it, get reloaded. Okay. Stinger in the open. Ah, Sheridan. Medis could be able to deal with that, I guess. But ah, no, they are out of Medis. Okay, that's a problem. Get some anti tank guns in here as well, then. Get the AT out and get the Iglas reloaded. Get the Conquerors as well. Oh no. Something is coming here for me. I don't have a dread gap. Need to go. T80B is actually gone down. Can the Akula find the kill? Want to the Sheridan? Is aiming and the Vicar is a really fast ATGM and an accurate one at death as well. <coughs> so it can't find the kill. The A is going down over here though. Maybe on the way. Oh, new M1, was it? New unit that killed. And the Vajilek also doesn't do that much damage against armor. It's one of the few things that it doesn't do much damage. As you can see, here comes the shot. And might actually be able yeah, okay, actually was able to get the kill there. Ooh, our helicopter here got killed off. For the new units that arrive. Another Akula could be useful over here. Oh, wait, did our Akula over here just get shut down by the Humvee? Something got the kill at least. Akula is in flames. At least I think so. Ah oh, no, it's over here. 
80 versus Sh uh, Bradley. He plans the hit, Bradley but Bradley did find a hit as well. Sheridan with it. She like will try to find the kill as well, but Akula from the rear will have the first blow. Humbi over here goes down in flames. No anti tank guns will be needed. Tank gun over here Ooh, versus Humbi. Okay, Humbi goes down in flames against the T80. Oh, but an A10 Warthog, and these things are really, really dangerous now with their a AA weapons. Uh, with their main gun, actually. But and the rocket's also helpful in dealing damage, but not against T80s usually. It's T80s really the updated gun now is uh, the killer. I'm not sure if there's any infantry in here at the moment. Should be at least. Let's see if we can find some. Sheridan is coming around. Tank gun. Ah, I'm not able to find the kill as the Akula is faster. And come around. EMD2 will be on the way as well. As the anti tank gun will fire on the infantry here, and it outranges the infantry, and the infantry doesn't have any weapon to return fire, so we'll get stunned down for now. But these units will move forward. Well, against the Sheridan over here, can we, can we find some damage? Let's see. Well, did they actually just kill the Sheridan? Oh no, I think we just lost line of sight there. I think that it was just us losing line of sight with these. Or was it? Ah, we can't see anything in these flames. Let's see. Does it kill it friendly? In its current form. It's something that we could test. Ah, shots are coming in. And the friendly takes good damage at least. So, good possible uh, possible that it killed the Sheridan this, this quickly. Possible, as the Sheridan is more lightly armored than the Bradley currently in the game. So, yeah. If the Vajalek stays unchanged... Oh no, there's the Sheridan. Okay, Sheridan survived the carnage. Yeah. Actually, only three damage. So not really that, that, that deadly in that fight. Couple of helicopters together with some Ashan Saperis and some Saperi RPOs. I'll try to come in. Sheridan down. I'm not sure if there's an infantry unit in here. I thought I saw one. Um. Oh. Make rifles. Try to hit something. Normal shots didn't hit anything. Yeah, I guess we're also not hitting anything just yet. But the aim time is really low, so we can try again. 
Еще одного попадания мы не выдержим. It doesn't hit anything either. So you really need to be pinpoint accurate. Actually get something killed. Еще одного попадания мы не выдержим. Uh, the tank here is doing a job. The Sheridan's now driving in. Also not getting hit too hard though. Abrams going down as well. And now we will try to get a CB in here again. It's coming around. Pull up from over here and move forward as well. Make rifles over here. Going around. Is it trying to fire the ATGM? Yeah, they seem to try to fire the ATGM onto the AT. Seem to be too successful in it. Okay, the other Sheridan bites the dust. Ooh. There is an M1 in this forest as well. As you can see, against moving targets, the eye is pretty good at moving its units. The Vajilek is not that easy to use. But once it hits, it just deletes with its current accuracy. So, feels a bit weird. Should be a bit less accurate at least. Not sure about the deadliness of the shots. I think those are fine. Just that obviously if it hits, it just completely annihilates. Because it's so accurate then. But also means that it misses all the time if it doesn't hit at all. Hmm. Ooh. Cooler. Something is in the forest. We'll use the nonas now. I want to see how good they are as well. Cobra. Okay, the one goes down. Uh, we have some eaglers here as well. Seems. And the enemy gets pushed out there. Okay, how close do we need to get to find the stinger? Okay. We got there. Okay, and we got the kill. Kula. Stay back. The 80. Ooh. Something comes in. Oh, it's an A10. And as you can see, the A-10's gun is pretty good now, but the MiG-29 plus AA gets the kill. MiG-29 also tried by shooting the OH. Abrams gets sniped by the Akula. Akula, really good from 1800 meter range. AA piece over here. Try to get that up into the north over our AA. Ah, Phantom should be in trouble. Finally gets the first hit on us, but we get out alive. And with that, we should be able to put it, push it deeper into the enemy zone here. And maybe move on to the next spot. Well, it's moving forward, our anti-tank guns, AA, obviously needs to keep up. You can see, we have fired with a lot of Vajilek rounds, we have landed quite a couple of helicopters already next to it, but the Mi-26 with 6,000 supplies needs a hell of a long time to run out of its supply. 
Получайте орудие. So we will land next to it again. ADB versus A1 Engineers. Engines helping out again. On the other side here is a Vulcan AA piece. That is a bit wrong. And Vulcan can also be hit by Seed. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, let's try that. Let's see how this looks. We get this hit. If it is a radar AA. Seed missiles should be able to hit it. And the seed missiles of ours coming in on this lovely platform. MiG 25. Oh, it hit. Or maybe not. I expected it to be able to hit the Vulcan. Huh? Seems to struggle. The Vulcan also seems to struggle against it though. But now oh, we got a grip. Huh. I thought the seed could hit that. AT Jam will try to hit that now. Will not get the kill though. Well, over here, there's a Nikki with Medis. Need to get out of the vehicle. Most of the Monas have arrived. They are pretty short range as well. But. Relatively solid gun for 60 points. One hundred twenty-two millimeter. Here they come. Obviously, they have spread. In time is longer than on the Vajil, though. There's a Nikki. The Legion Concourse. Trying to hit here. So now the Mona tried to hit again. Not the most efficient artillery ever. Very tough rockets going here. There we go. Nona coming in with some damage. Yeah. Solid damage there. Mortar also helping out. Mortar is overall pretty decent. In the damage output, I would say. Oh, TADBB over here got hit. Move forward. EMT here with its 30 millimeter. Trying to hit, getting the kill. 30 millimeters now quite a bit more deadly than back in the day. Heavy, heavily smoking. Forest here now. It's something we can conquer. Hopefully. As we get more. Guys and BMTs in. SU 25's cannon also has been improved. Ooh, another Vickers. Uh, another Vulcan, actually. Not Vickers. Oh, hit them up. Nonas only have 18 shots. Bit of a weakness of this unit. The air one with the 18 force are relatively dangerous. So here we go. A couple of hits coming in. My rockets dropping a couple of manpower. And now S25 getting a couple more hits as well. So Nonas do some damage, but it's not really impressive. But they are pretty cheap, so if you can get them into position, you might want to invest into some, maybe. Vulcan towed by Humvees in the north. Well, 
well, it's the AP4. It's flying around. Okay, so Vulcan currently can't be hit by seed, or at least it didn't work. This time. Mr. 25 gets transport killed. OH tried to come in to capture the point. I have to get her out again. SU-25 takes quite a bit of damage, but MiG-29 comes in to save the day. And over here, helicopters need to be rearmed. We hear the Akula is back in action, so that we can move forward and maybe get a couple more Vickers into enemy forces. Akula for sure a good unit, obviously really pricey, but and if you lose it early on, really painful. But if you can get the kills, this little helicopter is absolutely worthwhile or not quite so little helicopter the gun also can do some damage against infantry targets and crown targets and also against the helicopters where it's pre penetration it does a bit of damage per hit and yeah the ATGMs for sure are quite impressive so MiG-25 actually goes down as an F-15 Eagle coming I see Eagle coming in. EMB. And as you can see, auto cannons are a good bit more effective than beforehand. They actually do something now. A10 trying to come in, but our auto cannons there also doing their job. Where are these actually running? Where do we need to shoot to hit them? Good question. Uh, now they're running away again. Huh. Let's see. Let's try to hit the Vickers. Ah, we already got the Vickers. Got damage. Used its RPG against it, I think. So it's sometimes counted as a vehicle, sometimes isn't. Which is a bit weird. Ah! No shots flying, and as Resman pointed out, they have some weird effects on them. Don't seem to be full on artillery, as they ain't always shown f as flying. But the current situation is good enough here. Get the W. Try to sneak by. As we'll try to hit this. Okay, here we go. The salvo shot hit. And there you go. That's the mech rifle just imploding. Another force. That's how you would use the budget, like if it stays this way. Any unit that just stands still, what, uh, four salvos of a bunch of like nine damage on this mech rifle, and the other mech rifle just evaporated. So, yeah, they are really powerful if used correctly. Mm. 
Vulcan over there. They also have a lot of ammo. And this Vulcan is toast. Yeah. You can't really see how accurate it is. And here we go. Get the W in the end. Aquila, absolute MVP. Really strong unit. Vagilex. Deleted the M Oh, killed the M1. They didn't delete it really, but yeah, Vajlex, really good unit as well. D45 or the AT web guns can be pr quite nice as well, so that'd be pretty cool. So, SC25 coming in, EMDs, auto cannons, way better as you were able to see. So, yeah, this. As I said, it was still an alpha version, so some things might change, but I hope you had a good, a good look on how the 35th Air Assault Brigade will work out when it hits the battlefield. And I hope you are just as hyped as I am for finally getting our hands together onto this and playing this in multiplayer. As, yep, I can't wait to play this in ranked and see tournaments with this and so on. So... Hopefully you can make the final fixes soon, and then we will meet each other on the battlefield. Till then, have a nice day, have a nice week, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.